Another Jira report. This time I am exploring created versus resolved issue report. An interesting report which can help you in seeing the trend, how the backlog is getting accumulated. It also helps us in doing demand versus capacity planning. Are we getting more work than we can resolve? If the work is getting accumulated in our uh, team, this report should be able to expose it. Or if we are resolving the past accumulation, then also this report should be able to help us. Usually an analytical report, you may do a weekly or monthly analysis or sometime a quarterly analysis and use these reports for that. So you need to select the filter, yeah, your project or some other filter. In this case, I'm just going with the project filter right now. In, in, in my experience, the filter makes the, the most important, uh, uh, filters are the most important elements of the report because if we don't select the right filter, we may see very confusing data and we cannot make some judgment out of it. You can plot the period, the x-axis, you want to go for daily, weekly, monthly. It depends upon the amount of data you are selecting. If you are analyzing a trend for last 90 days, probably you go for weekly plotting. If you are analyzing the, the information for last 30 days, you may probably go for daily plotting. Especially if you are doing two weeks analysis, then definitely you will go for daily plotting. So we go for daily just for the, the uh, thing. You can select the number of days which you want to plot. Yeah, And you can select, you want to go cumulative or you want to go for uh, uh, one by one. Yeah, So it's like a discrete thing. I can select all the version. Let's see the report and then we come back for a cumulative flag. Now, by looking at it, you can see this particular color is representing the issues, number of issues getting created yeah, in the last 30 days cumulatively. So it is like if, if I pick up this number, uh, this number is representing around 200 something, the cumulative issues got created in these 30 days. And the green line is showing the number of issues resolved cumulatively. So I can say uh, one information is very clearly coming in. I, I, I can probably see that around 260 plus something. Yeah, you can say 265 or 70 cumulative events got created. Yeah, 267 issues got created. The, the uh, uh, visual is also coming. And here you can see how many issues got resolved. So around, I can see, uh, I, I, they, they are not showing it in a, in a pop information if I am not, uh, yeah, here it comes. Yeah, so I, I just need to carefully do it. Uh, around 316 issues got resolved in this 30 days period. So I can clearly see that number of issues created were less than resolved. I can also see that something has happened in the last one day. A lot of issues got created here. Uh, maybe if you are running a production support, you may get worried. What happened? Why so many issues got created? In, in my data, I understand because it's a change of a week. We have some kind of fixed events. When we plan those events, we get a lot of uh, uh, issues get created because we need to take care of them. And that's why those tasks and issues got created. So for me, it's pretty normal. But you can see the trend of issue creation as well. So this line, uh, this, this color line is showing you a trend of issue creation and the green line is showing you the trend of issue resolution. I can see from last three, four days, we are not resolving much. Yeah, we are pretty much uh, stable. Yeah, we did some magic word before, but right now we are not resolving much. So that's the kind of information. I can see the trend of creation. I can see the trend of resolution as well. As usual, all these reports show you the detailed data here. Uh, I can see that on 28th August, we got 59 issues got created. That's why you see the jump in the line. Uh, and we also can see that only three issues got resolved today. And since it was a weekend, so there was no issues got resolved before. Uh, but before that, on say 24th August, we had uh, say 29 issue got created and 33 issues got resolved. So we were more or less going in a, a similar uh, a speed. So you can say somewhere here that was happening yeah, because we were going in a similar uh, speed. So we need to see that particular information. So this is a cumulative one, which uh, in, in a way, if I see it here, this trend looks pretty healthy to me because we are, uh, looks like we have a lot of backlog that is very clearly coming in. Uh, even though we are doing more and more issue resolution, but still we have a gap uh, 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 because we have a pending work to, to take care of. Yeah, So this is uh, your created versus resolved. Now, if I go back and remove the cumulative uh, option, yeah, so uh, that, that can make a little more information for me. I can say, okay, let's not do cumulative. Let's do day by day. 
And here uh, I can see the day by day trend. I usually like this more yeah, because uh, it is uh, it depends upon the type of analysis you are doing. If I'm doing little holistic analysis of a bigger time period, the cumulative makes gives me a better trend. But if I'm more focused on a shorter duration, then I see it, it here. Whenever the red line is going above green line uh, or, or whatever the color you see, the created line, let's let's say a created line, not a pure red. So created line is going above the, the green line. Uh, I know that and, uh, in that particular time period, we have a more issues getting created and less issues going resolved. Whenever I see the, the green line was ahead of it, I know this particular day uh, we resolved lots of issues. So you can see somewhere here, uh, we had uh, three issues got created and we had uh, say, uh, I need to uh, uh, 56 issues got resolved. You can match it with the data also. Uh, there must be somewhere where you can see this whole uh, uh, mapping. Yeah. So uh, issues created. This one is the 25th, uh, 22nd August. You have a three issues got created and 56 issues got resolved. So this way, uh, as a Scrum Master Project Manager, I should be very comfortable with these dots. Yeah. I can see here we have 29 issues got created and we got. Uh, uh, probably the 33 issues got, got resolved, so very close line. So there was a little upper hand of a green line and we can find all these information below. So we can see that how these patterns are happening. So once you develop a comfort seeing this information in a critical manner, then you will be comfortable using and making some analytical uh, meaning out of these particular reports. Uh, you can also click and find who, which were those three issues which got resolved on that particular day, which were those issues which got created on that, those days that can help you in having confidence in your own data and presentation. At the same time, it can help you in doing a, a bigger root cause analysis. So in general, it's a trend analysis for your inflow of work and departure of work. It helps you in doing capacity planning. It can help you in seeing the, the, the trend of a possible future commitment you can make because this is something is telling you how much work is getting, getting added to your team backlog and how much work is getting removed. You may get worried if the, the work is uh, uh, not getting created also. Maybe you are resolving, resolving, resolving and the created is not coming in. That could be also an area of concern because after some time, the team may not have work for, for doing things. So we may need to work with the upstream to ensure that some work get created. Uh, so it's not only a resolution is our focus. Uh, Sometimes as, a, as a, a project manager, Scrum Master, you also need to worry about the created issues. So play with it and probably you make some uh, uh, interesting uh, uh, like analysis or study related to your project work using created versus resolved issue report.